Hi and welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can in Marvelous Designer 4 uh, import your own uh, avatar and create bounding volumes and arrangement points. So let's get started. So in order to uh, use this uh, kind of model as an avatar in Marvelous Designer I'm just going to use this beautiful model male model uh, created by Nick Zuccarello you can check the link in the description of this video and as we can see when we have it in our uh, preview we can see it has five subdivision levels so I'm just gonna uh, crank it down uh, because we don't need such high definition uh, in Marvel's Designer so approximately on subdivision 2 and I'm just gonna export this as OBJ save it somewhere on your hard drive as obj and then open up marvelous designer when opening marvelous designer i normally use just show shadows use shader and anti aliasing uh, set by x uh, x2 so just uh, click on ok then something like this pops up and we just need to close down avatar editor because we're going to uh, import an avatar that we just uh, exported from ZBrush just go under file import obj and just find your obj that you just uh, created and I normally use uh, auto scale and this is the best working uh, selection for, uh, for this case and I'm gonna load this obj as avatar so just press OK and just wait it to be loaded in your Marvelous Designer. Now you can still see uh, the fabric from the last uh, model is still here. So we just need to uh, select it and delete it because we don't need it anymore. And then just refresh it. And as we can see, we are going to hide the library. We have our uh, model in our viewport. After we import the new avatar in Marvelous Designer, we can see if we want to uh, turn on the bounding volumes and arrangement points, we don't have anything to uh, look at because uh, this avatar is like naked in that case. So we must uh, redo all the bounding volumes and arrangement points, or we can just uh, import them from another model so uh, if you have like already saved from another avatar uh, you just you just open another avatar and save all the boards of uh, bonding volumes and all the, bo on the all the placements of arrangement points here and then uh, after you import av your new avatar in viewport you just open that uh, bounding volumes and arrangement points and then just reposition them according to your new avatar but I'm just going to show you how you can create this uh, from scratch so you just need to first to uh, uh, create bounding volumes because uh, arrangement points uh, are sticking to the bounding volumes and so you need to create them first so you just need to click here on add and I normally first uh, rename it and then resize it and then reposition it by clicking in the canvas and pulling it up until it touches uh, the placement that I want to have it. Uh, you can uh, right click and uh, turn the viewport and you can also press 6 on the keyboard 4, 8, 2, 5 to get the front side and top view uh, really quickly. So um, it's not really so important that these boundaries are touching the body because you can uh, later rearrange the position of uh, arrangement points uh, which I'm going to show you right now. So after you, you do that like neck, head, arms and legs uh, you can start adding arrangement points by going here to arrangement points and 
let's just click on add and it's added a new arrangement point and just rename it let's just say waste front I just tend to name it so afterwards I can s easily uh, select exactly the one that I'm looking for uh, then you need to uh, uh, assign a bonding volume and as you can see we're going to select body and it's going to uh, position the arrangement point exactly in the center of your selected uh, bonding volume as we can see here 50 50 50 uh, and you can just uh, play around with the position by uh, changing these sliders and you can also let me just go to the side view you can see the point is right here and with the offset you can set the where the arrangement point should be like closer to the body uh, according to the um, bounding volume or even further away so I tend to get as close as I can uh, to the body that's why I said before this is not really so important that the bounding boxes are like really close to the body of your avatar and after that when you do when you do all the points arrangement points and bounding volumes you just go up to file save as and save it as avatar and I'm just going to open my avatar that I just uh, did and just to show you uh, which points I created and which bounding volumes I created uh, as you can see here I have these arrangement points created uh, I create these bonding points because uh, when I want to wrap around the fabric I just tend to uh, select the point that I want to wrap around and you can do a lot more of these points but in my case I think this is really what I'm looking for like for the wrist and the lower arm biceps neck forehead maybe back head also um, and also for the body legs and ankle uh, and if I turn on the, the bounding volumes you can see these are really basic shapes like for the legs body arms neck and head so check out the rest of my videos on my youtube channel uh, subscribe leave a comment and share this video and until next time